There he is right there. Little grasshopper. Coming back from the drag strip. Car's filthy as hell. It's pretty happy. Ran a 14.2 last night. But we did some weight reduction. So we gotta throw it back in there. But that's not what this video is about. What's going on YouTube? This is James here from Obsessed Auto. Kyle should be joining us here shortly. What we're doing today is we're working on my wife's car, which as you can see is a 2017 GMC Acadia. Now, as I'm sure you guys can tell from our other videos, we like window tent on our vehicles. As you can see from my truck, well actually you probably can't even see in my truck. That's how I like my windows. From the factory, these cars come with 20% on the back, but no window tent on the front. So we're gonna be solving that today. And what we're going to be using is a pre-cut kit that you can buy on eBay for like $30. Super easy to install and it doesn't just apply to this vehicle, it'll apply to any vehicle and it's super easy to do. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to install window tent on your own vehicle. Alright, so we're back in the garage now and these are a few of the items you're going to need to install. Obviously, first and foremost is the window tent. kind of comes like this. This is how it gets shipped here. It actually gets shipped inside a cardboard tube. There's several vendors on eBay that sell this stuff for like 25, 30 bucks. I usually just go with the one that has the best stars and has the darkness that you want. Today, we're going with 20%. You might want to check your state laws just to see what it is so you don't get pulled over. So, what we got here, we're gonna need some auto glass cleaner because you want to make sure that your windows are as clean as they can possibly be. You do not want any debris behind these because then they'll just leave bubbles. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Also, you can buy this little kit here at O'Reilly's or AutoZone. It's just a window tint applicator solution. It, window tint, excuse me. And it comes with a little squeegee, this little guy, and a little razor blade. Also, pro tip, you can use baby shampoo if you don't want to go out and buy this. It works just as good. And of course, a microfiber cloth to do some wiping down with. So let's get started, shall we? One more thing I wanted to point out to you guys is that you can tell which side the window tent goes on by what side the adhesive is. When you peel this back, there's adhesive on one side here, and I'm so I can tell since the adhesive is on that side, it's gonna go on like this. So it's gonna be the passenger side on this vehicle. Glass cleaner, make sure it says on the bottle, ammonia free. If you use window glass cleaner with ammonia in it, it's gonna do some funky things to your window tent. You're probably not gonna be too happy because it's probably gonna be purple. All right, so now the next step is we're gonna go ahead and prep the window for the window tent. This is one of those things, another one of those projects that your prep work will pay off in the long end. The cleaner you get this, the better your results are gonna be. So we we'll just spray a lot on there and then we're just gonna wipe it down thoroughly. So now that we got it wiped down, I like to let it dry for just a second and then just wipe it down one more time to make sure there's no dust on there. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is I like to start applying the window tent film at the top here so that you can get your line along the edge of the window as perfect as possible. So I went ahead and cracked the window, just about an inch or maybe two, not much. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off up here as well, because sometimes you get some dirt and debris that gets caught up inside that window seal. Looks like we're ready to start applying some window tint. Let's do it. So the next step is we need to take some of our window tint application solution and go ahead and just completely drench the window. The more you have on here, the easier it's gonna be to slide the tint around, especially when you get up into very hard to reach areas, you're gonna wanna be able to slide it. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start peeling the tent. And this is where it's very handy to have a situation where you can phone a friend, an extra set of hands, and when you peel, as you peel the tent, you, so. <laughs> as you peel the tent, you wanna spray it so it doesn't stick back to itself. Whatever you do, don't let it touch the floor. That'd be a bad day. Now, we're just gonna kinda stick it on there and then we can start moving it around to where we want it. So this is where I was talking to you guys about earlier. You kinda want that line to be as perfect as possible so it looks clean and professional. Then we spray some on this side so that the squeegee glides nice and easy. And we just kinda start working it in to where we want it. And you can still do some minor adjustments as you're doing this. 
We'll spray it again so that the squeegee glides nice and easy. We do not want to pinch the tent at all because it'll leave a crease in the tent. He won't be happy with the results. This is not something you just want to throw on there and be done with all the window tent in 20 minutes. Because trust me, a couple days later you're going to be kicking yourself. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure all the bubbles are out on the very top here. That way we can roll the window back up and get the rest of the film worked in. So now I'm going to have Kyle roll up the window. Okay, so now that the window's up, we can go ahead and work the rest of the tent in. Go ahead and spray some more solution. Of course, you're gonna have to clean your door panel after this, but trust me, it's worth it. Ideally, you wouldn't have quite that much overhang. So we might actually take a little razor blade and trim that up just a little bit. We're just finishing working it out all the bubbles. What you might wanna do on occasion is put a flashlight on the inside, stand on the outside of the door, and just kind of move around with the flashlight to see where your bubbles are at. That way you know what areas you still need to work on. Kyle has an amazing idea, which we will show you now. Getting you a close-up shot of what we're doing here. So I don't know if you guys can be able to see it, but what we have happening is just little fingers right here where it goes into the weather stripping. And then try to use this to squeegee those bubbles out of there because what's happening is that fluid that we sprayed on there is trying to fight back at us. So we just gotta get that fluid out of there and it should stick. So now that we got most of the bubbles worked out, what you should do now is grab a flashlight, any flashlight, and just kinda go from the inside here. And it might be very hard for you to see on the camera, but what we're doing is checking for any bubbles that might be left over. And as you can see, right now, it looks like we're doing pretty good on the bubbles. But just do it around the edges. Sometimes these corners will fight you really hard. Like I got one right there that needs to be worked out. You probably can't even see it on camera. It's a very small bubble. So just keep working those bubbles out, and you should be done in no time. Looks like we're about done here. Looks like we got most of the bubbles worked out. It's looking pretty good. I'll give you guys kind of a far away view here. The front windows pretty much match the back windows now. It's looking so much better. This is something you could really do on your own with a little bit of patience and some time. You really don't need to pay the window tent guy over $100 just to do the two front windows. That's what they wanted to charge here in my small town. $100 to do this. You can buy this kit on eBay for 25 bucks. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I hope you guys have a great day. Yeah.